tubes though. Um, they come in boxes of 48. I have, we have a lot of different options. I just happen to have the 45 milliliter and the, oh gosh, what was this? 22 milliliter. So I'm gonna show you the difference in size there. So this is uh, the 22 milliliter and this is the 45. So if, you know, depending on how much paint you make, uh, you know, get the appropriate size tube. And if you actually look at it, this has the cap and then you just have the empty uh, backside uh, where it's ready to be filled. So to get this kind of in a tube, all I'm gonna do is I actually have uh, the two different shapes of uh, pellet knives. I want the one that's like longer and skinnier. It's a little bit easier for me to scoop and get it in there. If you do that, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. All right, now I'm gonna get a little bit in there. Hear that sound change a little bit? That's the paint going down into the uh, kind of nozzle. All right, so how to close this. Now I can actually see if I look in there where the level is, it's not a ton, but for example, say if it was right here, I could squeeze out the majority of the air and make it as close to that as possible. So when it comes to crimping a tube, I'm gonna use a tool that is not for crimping tubes. It's canvas pliers. <laughs> um, I actually really love these canvas pliers. Now, once I use this for this process, I do not use it for canvas because I'm most likely going to get pigment here. Uh, and it's about to happen because this is definitely having purple pigment come out of the top. So this is no longer for canvas. This is for my paint tubes. Um, so I will crimp, uh, actually you want to go over the overhead, I'll show you how far I kind of crimp down. Alright, so I'm going to crimp probably about maybe an, an eighth of an inch down, quarter of an inch, somewhere in there, measurements. And then before I actually let it go, I'm going to kind of bend it a bit, right? Just so I get a little bit of a crimp. Uh, then I'm going to squeeze that over, crimp it down again. Same amount, bend it. This is why I said you're gonna get some pigment on your uh, tube. Take a little Soho wipe, wipe that right off. Because now that, take the crimper again, squeeze it down. It's nice and crimped. My paint's not gonna come out of there. Now, if you wanna go the extra step and kind of uh, get everything pushed up as far as you can. Uh, I do recommend a big squeeze. I love these because uh, that, if I crimp it at the end, kind of crank it through, pushes my paint as far towards the, uh, the end as I possibly could.